The engine also gets a revised cylinder head. Audi's variable valve lift and duration system on the exhaust camshaft. It switches between cam lobes like Honda's PEC system, although with a different mechanism. The addition of port fuel injection to the existing direct injection setup, and boost pressure bumped from 18, 1 to 19, 6 pounds per square inch. Those changes increase output from 360 to 400 horsepower and torque from 343 to 354 pounds to foot. Fuel economy is said to improve slightly, although EPA figures are not yet available. Within the TT model lineup, this engine gives the TT RS 108 more ponies than the TTS and 180 more than the base TT. This hefty output flows through a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, which Audi calls S-Tronic. From there it goes to the front differential, as well as to a drive shaft and a hydraulic clutch pack just forward of the rear differential. That clutch pack is computer controlled to divert power to the rear wheels based on traction conditions and the drive mode selected. In normal driving, roughly 80% of the powertrain's output goes to the front wheels. But when you start hustling, the system sends more power rearward and even applies the brakes selectively to overdrive the outside wheels, which promotes more agile turning. The RS uses the strut front and multi-link rear suspension geometry of the standard PT, but with firmer shocks and springs and a 0.4-inch lower ride height. Magneto Geological Shocks